In the lonesome cold mountains of Chiba lives a 17-year-old boy, Tamahiko Shima. After losing his mother and right arm to an accident, Tamahiko is left alone by his rich family. Cold and unloved, Tamahiko finds the idea of death more pleasant. Suddenly, a young girl comes knocking on his door claiming to be his future bride. Will she be able to save Tamahiko from his despair? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Jenny from Quick Anime Recap. As Tamahiko dwells upon his miserable life, he hears a knock. After opening the door, a young girl introduces herself as Yuzuki and cheerfully states that she has come to be his bride. Tamahiko realizes that this must be his father's doing as he shows Yuzuki her room. The next morning, Yuzuki takes the house by storm. She can cook, she can clean, and she's mighty strong. Tamahiko wonders if every day will be like this. One day while he's scrubbing his back, Yuzuki enters the bathroom and takes the wet rag from Tamahiko's hand. She dutifully begins to help Tamahiko wash up. Just one of the many perks of having a wife. Tamahiko makes a comment on how she must be an entitled princess without a care in the world. Yuzuki denies that and says that she actually has two big concerns. As Tamahiko looks at Yuzuki curiously, the girl lets out her fluffy hair and complains about her hair. This makes Tamahiko laugh, which makes Yuzuki smile. As someone who is portrayed as a sad boy, Tamahiko quickly composes himself and throws Yuzuki out. When Yuzuki is alone, she reminisces about her last day at school. Yuzuki tells her friends that she has been sold because of her parents' debt but she'll do her best to love her new husband. The bell of New Year fills Tamahiko with more pessimistic thoughts. He thinks about his cruel and callous family and realizes that sleep will be unkind to him like always. As he roams the hallways, Yuzuki comes to sit beside him. <laughs> Annoyed by Yuzuki's kindness, Tamahiko asks her why she's so keen on being nice to him. Yuzuki smiles and says that when she was sold off, she was scared of her new life. When she met him, she was touched by his kindness and integrity. It was then she vowed to be by his side. Yuzuki asks Tamahiko to call her Yuzu. Tamahiko's face reddens when Yuzu abruptly asks him if they can sleep together. In his room, Tamahiko's heart races as he pulls a raunchy magazine to educate himself. Suddenly, Yuzu comes with another set of futon and bids Tamahiko goodnight. While sharing a meal together, Tamahiko finds himself blushing at Yuzu's cuteness. He quickly reminds himself that he's a pessimist who hates everything. Let's see how long Tamahiko can keep up his guard. After receiving a letter from his father, Tamahiko learns that his father has tied his siblings not with a reputable family and in order to protect the Shima's name from disgrace, he decided to tell the whole world that his younger son has died in a fatal accident. Upon reading the letter, Tamahiko falls sick. When Yuzu comes to his aid, he bitterly laughs and wishes for death. Yuzu sternly takes Tamahiko's face in her tiny hands and tells him to let it all out. <laughs> the next day, Tamahiko regains his health. He sees Yuzu's kimono hanging on the cloth line. Realizing that he ruined her best kimono, Tamahiko takes Yuzu for shopping in Tokyo. Yuzu falls in love the moment she sees Tokyo. After buying two kimonos, Tamahiko asks if there was some sort of emotional sentiment attached to her old kimono. Yuzu informs him that it was her first kimono. Just as Tamahiko starts worrying, Yuzu calms him down by telling him that the kimonos she just got hold more value to her as someday they'll be the first kimonos that her lover got her. After one month, Yuzu flaunts her new kimono when suddenly, Tamahiko's sister, Tamako makes a surprise appearance. Tamahiko angrily demands Tamako to state her business. She shrugs it off by saying that the villa is owned by her family too. Tamako then mocks Yuzu for her childlike appearance. Despite Tamako's crude remarks, Yuzu warmly tends to her. While making dinner, Tamahiko apologizes for Tamako's intrusion. Yuzu smiles and says the more the merrier. Tamako enters the kitchen and spoils the atmosphere by telling Tamahiko that it was entertaining to see how their father and elder siblings faked tears for his death. As Tamahiko retires to his room, Yuzu notices the cloud of misery shadowing Tamahiko's steps. 
she decides to cheer him up by taking him out on a walk. The two of them find themselves in the lush forest. It doesn't take long for Tamahiko to find himself smiling. So, Tamako watches Yuzu feed Tamahiko caramel toffee. When Yuzu extends the toffee to Tamako, she angrily throws it away and calls them a pair of idiots. Alone at night, Tamako shivers in fear upon hearing the thunder. She thinks about how she has always been lonely. When her fear gets the best of her, she turns to Yuzu and asks her to take her to the lavatory. On the way, Tamako ends up wetting herself. Without saying a word, Yuzu prepares a warm bath for her. Later as they sleep together, Tamako discloses how she has always been alone. Yuzu tells her that if she was her older sister, she would never leave her alone. Next morning, Tamahiko gets a shock when he sees Tamako and Yuzu happily cooking together. So what's the fate of this 14 years old Yuzu will be in the future? Click the end screen to watch the next episode video. Hi, I'm Jenny from Quick Anime Recap, thanks for watching and see you all in next video.